Hi guys, this is Panfish PhD, and today I'm going to be showing you my top five favorite bass lures. Hope you enjoy. All right, guys. So the very first lure that I have on my countdown is the floating Rapala in Fire Tiger color. And I just like to use this when I'm casting off docks or if I'm having like a bad day with my other baits. This is just like one of my premium go-to baits. So, yeah, you should give it a try. My second favorite bait is a swim jig. And you can use different colors and different types for different clarity of water and what kind of um, places that you're fishing at. And I like to use a nice colored trailer on the back that sometimes matches the jig. You don't always have to match the jig, but I, I like to, and it helps it give a nice little flare. As you can see, they're weedless, so that helps. But I like to trim them off so it just goes to the tip of the barb. I haven't trimmed this one yet, but I probably will after this video. Then my third favorite lure on this countdown is a, a tube. This one's in watermelon red with red and black flake. It's salted, and for a hook, you can just pick up any tube jig at your local bass fishing store. And you just slide it up the entrance in the bottom of the jig and poke the little eye out the side of it and that's how you can attach it to your line. My second to first favorite of lure is the scum frog, the Bigfoot scum frog by Booyah Baits. And it's got this little paddle tail action so when you retrieve it across the water it makes a little wake behind it. And the fish, the bass just love it. They blow up on it all the time. But the hook set on it is kind of tricky. So I recommend taking your pliers and bending back the hooks just a little bit. But not too much because then it's not weedless anymore. But I've had so many fish with this. And it's just an all around great bait. You want to just cast it out in maybe like lily pads or some structure and I like to let it sit for about 30 seconds and normally as soon as it hits the water after about 30 seconds a bass will hit it and then sometimes it'll sink under the water and that's when they get it again but yeah they'll hit it on the tree but nine times out of ten they'll hit it when it's sitting still My all-time favorite bait is the Cinco. You can wacky rig it, you can Texas rig it. It's just, it. this has caught me my biggest bass to date, the white Cinco. It's a, this one's a Gary Yamamoto. You can get like Shields Tournament Series. You can get, then there's also different um, companies who make them. And what I personally like is wacky rigged. And for that, you can use a wacky rig hook. It's like maybe two or three odd. With it's a little kind of weedless design. It doesn't really work that well, but I still like the hook design. What I do for that is I find about the middle point of the Cinco. I take the hook and I poke it through all the way until it reaches the other side. Then. Take the little weed guard, put it over there, and there you have it. One wacky rigged Cinco. What I like to do is I like to cast it up on shore, and you don't do anything to it. You just let it sink, and it its little ends like to flutter down in the water, and the bass just love it. They Nine times out of ten, they'll hit it on the fall, but once you think it's, it's fallen enough, and the bass isn't going to take it, you can jig it back up to the surface of the water and let it fall again. So yeah, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.